Right, it's time for Rupert's Royal Roundup. <laughs> Rupert's Royal Roundup. <laughs> Hello, Rupert. Good morning, David. Good morning, Rene. Good morning. Good morning. What's 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 on your list today? Well, I suppose we we just have to. It's a few days after that the court case um, yes. and the, and the hearings um, and basically throwing out aspects of uh, Prince Harry's case against the news group and obviously losing part of what he wanted to bring to trial which was obviously the phone allegations mm. and the, and obviously um it still means he's going to court so it's whether you think has he won completely or has he lost what's the situation so so, so, so this was about he he basically said that there was a special arrangement didn't he between buckingham palace and the newspapers and then it all hinged on the fact that he said he couldn't actually expose what was going on because of that arrangement but there was a statute of limitations which meant that he had to actually claim it within six years Yes, in essence, and actually the judge then said that it seemed to be there were two divergence of views and it didn't seem to be, it was all sort of supposition was the um, sort of tenor of what he was saying, that it was, you know, there was not enough facts to back up what he was trying to bring to court or certainly the judge looking at the sort of preliminary cases for the um, a prosecution, there were, he, he felt there wasn't <coughs> much going on there. So mm. in a sense, it was a setback. Because what it probably means for Harry, he's got to start producing facts. It's no point that you can't, no court case is one on instinct. Um, it's every case comes down to do you believe the facts that have been presented by, by either party? Mm. And at the moment, Harry's problem is a lot, it feels that he feels aggrieved and there were things going on behind the scenes, but he's got no actual proof. Now, of course, he will be, the parts of the case will go to court about whether there was a deception done to get information about Harry or whether there was in, in, um, private investigators of invest, uh, going about trying to get information about Harry. So there are still aspects that will go to court, but whether, again, he's got enough facts, the judge believes that it's worth bringing those aspects, but it didn't sound wholehearted in his endorsement, even of those aspects, but felt there was still justification for allowing those bits to go to trial. So that's the interesting bit now for harry to do is to beef up his case mm. to make sure that he doesn't lose this one and of course we've got the hearings with the, the mirror group there's also um a, a legal case against the mail group associated newspapers so he's certainly in litigious mode at the moment but actually for all of these things he's got to make sure that he has a strong case to try and win and then if he does win then for his perspective then this will be vindication of what he's what mm. feels now his life's work which is to take on the british press now now what you know you obviously know the royal family you know harry how will he have reacted to that because i it depends on the newspaper you read many of the papers were saying that it's a big loss for harry some said you know the fact he could take some of it further was a vindication Will this actually make him stronger in his resolve to get the evidence, to get his case to be a stronger case? My feeling is that this is um, his cause, uh, you know, this is his driving mission because mm. he feels so aggrieved about what has been his perception of the way he has been treated and the stories that have been written about him. And he feels that he's been, he's the victim and that he wants to prove that uh, there was a, a sort of conspiracy theories against him and includes with in, in aspects of it being briefed against by members of his own family who wanted to cover up stories that they may be sort of less flattering stories for other members of the royal family so they dropped a few stories about harry and Meghan as a sort of way of deflecting any interest going on there and this is the problem Yes, there may be, you never know what was going on ultimately, and no. we probably all don't know, but he, if he's going to take it to court, he's got to ultimately make sure that these accusations aren't just feelings, they've actually got to be facts, mm. and how he goes about that, obviously that's for, for him and his lawyers uh, and uh, his people working on his case to make sure they've got hard proof, mm. because otherwise it will be another uh, a period of rejection, and probably he'll end up feeling even more bitter and twisted if it doesn't go his way. Uh, and what's the feeling about these court cases within the royal family? Uh, I think, they, they, as we've seen, we're getting no reaction from it, leaving him to his own devices. Um, and that really is the way at the moment, because they, they, there's no trust between them. 
Um, and clearly, if the court cases do uh, come, there would be aspects that he would be revealing what he thought were issues within the royal family briefing against him. So he's, if he came, had to go to court and then was uh, cross-examined, he'd have to probably be mentioning mm. what he thought were more than just uh, theories. He'd try and back it up with facts against members of the uh, royal staff or, or even members of the royal family who were briefing press. But uh, at the moment, there seems to be no proof that this has actually happened. Rupert, thank you very much indeed. Uh, very good to talk to you, uh, Rupert Bell there, Talk Radio's Royal Correspondent.